Today, we're going to go through a process that used to seem complicated, but now it's actually super easy. We're going to format your PC step by step, and by the end, your computer will feel brand new, just like when you first took it out of the box. All you need to do is follow me closely, and we'll get through this together. Let's get started. First, click the start button. Go to settings. Then choose system. And open the recovery tab. If your PC is acting up just a little, you might be able to fix it with some basic tools here. But if you want to fully format your computer, scroll down and click Reset PC. Now, you'll see two options. If you plan to keep using the PC and want to save your personal files, like documents, photos, and videos, choose Keep My Files. But if you want to completely wipe everything, maybe because you're selling or giving away the PC, choose Remove Everything. Pro tip, in every step, you can click the help link in the bottom left corner for more details. For this guide, I'm choosing to remove everything. Next, you'll be asked how you want to reinstall Windows, Loud Download will pull fresh files from Microsoft, but it requires a stable internet connection and more than 4 GB of data. Local reinstall uses files already stored on your computer. If you think your system might be corrupted or infected with malware, it's better to choose Cloud Download. But I'll go with Local Reinstall. This window shows all the formatting settings that have already been selected. Click Change Settings, if you want to customize a few more things. For example, you can enable deep disk cleaning, this will take more time, but if you plan to give your computer to someone else, such cleaning will make it difficult to recover your data in the future. Since I'm not planning to sell or give away my PC, I'll skip that step. Delete files from all drives and partitions. This setting item appears if there are other partitions or drives on the PC besides the system drive C. If you select, yes, all files on all drives will be completely deleted. I choose, not. If put here, yes, it will be a transition from a local reinstallation to a cloud one. I leave local download of Windows files. Confirm. Next. This is the last window where all the changes that will happen to your computer are indicated. Read everything carefully before starting the process, and if you change your mind and want to change something, click Cancel, and if you want to know more about this, click here. I press reset and the process started. For some time we will not need to do anything, the computer will restart several times. Please do not turn off your computer. The reinstallation of Windows 11 is over, and now we will do some standard system settings that are usually done during the installation process of a new Windows 11. Here you need to select a region. Then choose a keyboard layout. Skip. The system prompts you to familiarize yourself with the terms of the license. Sept. I choose for educational use. Next. Here you can sign into your account or create a new Microsoft account, but there is another option. I will create a local account and click Domain Join instead. Name your account, if you are selling your computer then just name it User. Next. Here you need to enter a password, I will do this later. Next. Yes. My computer formatting has been completed successfully. I hope you have the same. Let's look at the information about the new Windows 11. I open the system section and scroll down to the system information tab. Here we see that the computer now has the new version of Windows 11. Let's check the activation of the new Windows 11.
Yes, my new Windows 11 is automatically activated according to the digital license. If you, like me, installed Windows with a local account and subsequently want to log in or create a new Microsoft account, then click here and then follow the system's recommendations. This concludes my lesson and I hope that what I told was interesting for you. If you found this helpful, please share my video with anyone. Good luck.